Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today, we would like to present to you the in vitro antioxidant and anti-colon cancer activities of sesamum indicum L leaf extract. This group consists of Sha, Risha, Tini, Mima Sevdina, and Dika. Production. It has been well studied that this sesame seed produces oil in high quantity and quality. Part of the edible sesame seed, the sesame leaves as well, have been put to use as vegetables and traditional medicines. This shows that the SLs have all sorts of essential amino acids. Moreover, in a phytochemical study, the new pentacyclic tryptophan, the three epibarotogenic acid, and epigalagatechin were shown to have alpha amylase inhibitory activity. In addition, a new study discovered that the major polyphenols contained in the SLs were the actiocyte and pedaline, where the actiocyte shown high antioxidant characteristics. Nowadays, colorectal cancer is one of the most commonly diagnosed cancer that led to fatal. The carcinogenesis mainly impacts on the oxidative stress, which is the imbalance between the pro-oxidants and antioxidants. Hence, the diet intake becomes the modifier of this colorectal cancer development, where it could lower the risk of this cancer. Therefore, the identification of plant foods and its bioactive compounds targeting the oxidative stress is crucial for the preventive and therapeutic strategy of this cancer. The objective of this study is to investigate the in vitro antioxidant and anti-colon cancer activities of ethanol extract from SLE through DPPH assay and fraps. It is also to identify and characterize the major bioactive components of SLE. The first problem statement of this study is the investigation of in vitro antioxidant and anti-colon cancer activities of sesame leaf and the identification of its major constituents. The second problem statement which is the determination of the potential health benefits of sesame leaf extract in context of colon cancer. Both statements are part of a larger effort to develop natural compounds for cancer therapy and to understand the mechanisms behind their actions. Sesame indicum are packed with antioxidants that fight cell damage. These antioxidants help prevent colon cancer by inhibiting cancer cell growth and spread, especially HD29 and HCT116 cancer cells. A specific compound called padaline has significant growth inhibitory, anti-invasive and anti-migratory activities. This research suggests that SLE could be a natural weapon against cancer and other diseases highlighting the power of dietary plant chemical compounds. The procedure of this experiment started with the preparation of the SLE. Then, the total of antioxidant phytochemical contents of SLE were determined through spectrophotometry analysis. After that, using DPPH and FRAP assay, the antioxidant activity was determined. Next, the human colon cancer cell lines were cultured and maintained in its general condition before treatment. Then, the cell viability assay is done where the cancer cell line was introduced to the SLD. Then, the procedure proceeds with the flow cytometry, transwell invasion and migration assay, and scratch wood healing migration assay before analysis of HPLC was made. After that, all of the data collected were analyzed. Now we are going to the result of this experiment. The antioxidant compound from the extraction of sesame indicum leaf by using solid liquid extraction as LDR, polyphenol, flavonoid, and carbonoid. Study evaluates the sesame leaf extracts antioxidant properties, concentrating attention to the amount of carotenoids, flavonoids, and polyphenol that it contains. Sesame seeds and other green vegetables have far lower total polyphenol and flavonoid levels than uh, sesame leaf extract, suggesting that sesame leaf extract has a strong antioxidant potential. Group SA, which are the PHSA and FRAPSA, show the have the higher concentration of SLE compound the higher antioxidant compound in SLE FRAP and the DPPH AC were used to assess the antioxidant properties of sesame leaf extract. The results demonstrated substantial radical scavenging and the potential to convert ferric ions into ferrous ions. 
um, higher doses were associated with enhanced antioxidant activity in the dose-dependent antioxidant effect of SLE. Uh, thus, the study linked the, the high concentration of polyphenols, uh, flavonoids and carotenoids in SLE to its potent antioxidant quality. The SLE content is capable to inhibit the growth of gone cancer in life, HCT116 and HD29. The longer of gone cancer was exposed, with the SLE content, the proliferation was decreased. The objective of the analysis is to determine the potential anti-colon cancer properties of SLE in vitro. The inhibitory effect of SLE was observed in both colon cancer cells and defined as dose-dependent and time-dependent as they need longer treatment and higher concentration to achieve greater growth inhibition. SLE content is federally compound that was confirmed by NMR spectrum which is have the same Big the high content of polyphenol and flavonoids, including pedaline, suggests that SLD is a rich source of antioxidants. Notably, the level of these antioxidants are higher than those found in sesame seeds and other leafy vegetables. Through the HPLC analysis conducted, it has found pedaline as major polyphenol as it represents the dominant peak. In conclusion, SLD is the rich source of antioxidant phytochemicals that can exhibit antioxidants. By analysis of radical scavenging between HSA and FRMP, it can inhibit the growth of HD29 and HD116. Human colon cancer measure polyphenol in SLE is pedaline compound that have the same infection and NMR spectrum's peak position between SLE content and pedaline compound. Further study are needed to develop SLE and pedaline as effective preventive and therapeutic agents are from us. Thank you!